Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I don't really need my sunglasses right now. So today, I'm going to review, continue on in the Jim Beam uh, category. We got the uh, Signature Craft Quarter Cask Finish. Uh, it has... So Distiller apparently has not been able to get a, get a hold of one of these bottles because they don't have any expert reviews. <laughs> so I'm probably reviewing a whiskey that you might not be able to find. Uh, but on the off chance that you do see it, pick it up because it'll, it'll probably be gone. You'll never get to try it. And uh, that's just a sad thing. That's, that's what happens in whiskey. They have small batch releases, and that's all that you're going to get. So, the description. The third edition to the Beam Signature Craft line, released September of 2014. So this thing was bottled back in 2014, four years ago. The quarter cask finish starts with Kentucky Straight Bourbon, aged from five to six years. That is blended with bourbon that was aged in quarter-sized ex-sherry and ex-bourbon barrels for four to six years. Taking a cue from Lafroy Quarter Cask, also owned by Beam Suntory. I did not know that. Uh, the quarter cask is made by taking apart standard size barrels, removing most of the staves, and reforming the barrels into casks one quarter the size of the original barrel. The intention is to increase surface contact between the wood and aging spirit, bottled at 43% ABV. So. This should have some fruitiness, some smoke, maybe a little bit of char, uh, caramel. I'm going to look for some fruit notes on it. Yeah, it's definitely more fruity. More fruity than the, uh, the double oak. Get that same vanilla and caramel. Yeah, that sherry, the sherry definitely comes through on the taste. Um, it's not a bad little dram, that's for sure. Uh, It has similar characteristics to the uh, the double oak, with a little more fruitiness and sweetness. Got a little spice on the back end, a little heat, a little peppery. I really don't get much on the nose right now. It, it kind of goes away once you start drinking it. And it finishes very quick. I mean, it's... I want to say I picked this one up for about 30 35 so it was a little higher price than your your white label, your black label, your double oak, probably 10 to $15 more. Uh, I don't know if it's much better than those. Uh, I don't think it's much better than the, the double oak, if any. Uh, I might do a blind taste test, get me and Gene over here one night and we'll just do a record a blind taste test between this, the black label, and the double oak. I think that'd be fun. It's okay. I mean, I don't hate it. I don't know 
if I ever see another one, I don't know if I'll pick it up. I might, just to say I have it, but it's not. I just ran across this one randomly uh, in a store out in the backwoods over here in East Texas. Uh, saw it, had never seen it before, and I was like, hey, bottled in 2014. Probably not going to find this again. So, if you see one, get it. Uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's not, it's not the greatest, but uh, it's good. It's, it's a nice experience. So, I recommend it. If you see one, pick it up. Uh, with all that said, follow me on uh, Instagram, Son of Thor Three, uh, Bearded Idiots Podcast at beardedidiots.com. Uh, we're gonna be re- we're gonna re- start recording again next Friday, so we'll have more episodes up. We should should be weekly now. Follow us, uh, support us if you can. If not, tell somebody about it. If you know anybody who likes podcasts and raunchy, rude, crude, and uh, sometimes informative uh, information, uh, send them our link. So we appreciate everybody uh, supporting us uh, in our endeavors to drink whiskey and talk shit to each other and not do anything else. <laughs> but uh, y'all have a good night. Take care. Drink some whiskey. Share it with your friends and family. And uh, have a good evening.